Hello everyone and welcome to Clanmel Library where we're going to have some Christmas stories for you. But first we have to do we have to do the public service announcement, of course we do. We have two great things going on in the library for Christmas. We have a competition where we want you to make a great Christmas decoration that we can hang on our trees or hang around the library. Um, and you have to bring that in and we have an entry box and you put it in there. Okay. And make sure that your name and your contact details are on it, because there will be a prize. And the second thing is we have great colouring sheets in the library, so come on in and collect a colouring sheet, and we're going to use those to decorate the library as well. So we really need your help with all that stuff. Now, let me read a story, a nice Christmas story. Hello everyone, and welcome to Clanmel Library for another Christmas story. We have so many Christmas stories in the library, you have to come in and get some for yourselves. Now, what one have you got for you today? This one is called Russell's Christmas Magic, and it was written by Rob Scotton, and it was published by Harper Collins. Let me see what happens. I think something definitely if Russell is in it, something's going to happen. It was the night before Christmas in Frogsbottom Field. Not a creature was stirring, except for Russell. He was hanging the very last lantern on the old tree, and a shooting star. You know when a star shoots across the sky, caught his eye. Closer and closer it came, brighter and brighter, and then whoosh! <gasps> I wonder what's in the shooting star. The shooting star snuffed out the lanterns and came down somewhere in Firefly Wood. No, Christmas is ruined, Russell groaned. And he trudged off to investigate. Something's gonna happen. He came upon a small, round man brushing snow from his belly. I wonder who that small, round man could be. Take a guess. He's wearing red. He's got a white beard. Santa! Russell exclaimed. You see, you see. You shouldn't see me, Santa said. The sleigh is broken and so is the Christmas spell. Christmas must be cancelled. <sighs> The sleigh was beyond repair. First Christmas is ruined, and now it's cancelled, said Russell. What's a Santa to do? An idea bounced around in Russell's hat, because Russell has a big, long, long hat, so this might, the idea might take a while, and settled on his head. He raced to his workshop, grabbed his tool chest, and headed off for a snowy mound. Russell dug and dug until a rusty old car emerged. How can that help? Santa asked and sighed. So Russell welded this part to that. He hammered and sawed. Finally he turned to Santa. Well, Russell asked sheepishly. Wow. Wow, Russell has done a lot of work there, hasn't he? Russell, it... It's, it's, it's wondrous, magnificent, a thing of beauty, a work of genius, Santa gushed. Will it work? As Santa harnessed the reindeer to the new sleigh, they began to disappear. I can't see you, said Russell. You see, you see, you can't see me. The sleigh is fixed and so is the Christmas spell, cried Santa. Christmas is Uncancelled! Yay! Will you come with us, asked Santa. Will we be gone for long, asked Russell. I don't know how Russell would have second thoughts about that kind of an invitation. For the blink of an eye, replied Santa. Russell felt for the sleigh and climbed aboard. I can see you again, he said to Santa. Of course! Now you're part of the Christmas spell, cried Santa. And look, off they went to the new sleigh. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. And look, they're all ready to go, yay! Up, up, higher and higher they flew, across land, across the oceans they sped, through the magical northern lights they passed. 
They visited all the children in the world and left presents for each and every one. Yeah, that's what I call a busy night. Poor Russell. In the blink of an eye, they were back in Frog's Bottom Field. Santa waved his hands and presents appeared. Santa gave Russell the very last present. Imagine getting the very last present in Santa's bag in the world. Inside was a tiny glass bottle. Russell hung the ornament on the tree where it flickered and glowed. Soon it shone with all the brilliance of the northern lights. <gasps> Look at the tree, it's all lighted up. Oh, it's Santa's present. It's a little bit of Christmas spell just for you, said Santa. And now it's time, time to go. Goodbye, Russell, the sheep that saved Christmas. Who knew that a sheep could save Christmas, cried Santa. And Merry Christmas to you too. And off with Santa for another year. And Russell has saved Christmas. He got it uncancelled. Wasn't that really good of him? And thanks very much for joining us in the library. And sometime before Christmas, when you're out and about doing your shopping and looking at things, and you might come into the library and get some Christmas books. Wouldn't that be a good thing to do? And leave in the entries. We want your Christmas decorations. We want your Christmas pictures. Leave them into us. Thanks very much for joining us. Bye. Happy Christmas. Bye.